It is currently the 9th of February 2021 for my friends here across the Western Pacific. We are still tracking this tropical wave out here across the Philippines and plus another area of low pressure moving out across southeastern China. Now the combination of these two are really going to be impacting areas from Taiwan over through Okinawa as we go ahead through Thursday and into Friday. And I'll get to that in just a second. But first, yeah, this guy is still here. It's bringing plenty of rainfall from Mindanao all the way out through South eastern Luzon. In fact, uh, from late day all the way up there towards Legaspi and even extending here uh, across provinces of Aurora, Isabella and even uh, eastern areas of Cagayan, you're looking at an additional 50 to 100 millimeters of total precipitation. So definitely the probability of some flooding out here. Manila's missing out on the most of this though, and even the Cagayan Valley, about 20 to 30 millimeters is possible, but really the bulk of that precipitation is gonna stay along the eastern seaboard of the Sierra Madre Mountains because of that moisture flow coming in off of the Philippine Sea. Taking a look ahead though, this is what I really wanna talk about. Our area of low pressure continuing the impact here, but as we look ahead, that next slope is going to really have some upper level support coming in out of southeastern China. You can see that upper level low here with that dip in the jet stream. And whenever we get that, this little hook here, this kind of hooks this, it pulls it towards the north and it really is going to fuel up our tropical wave and make this become an extra tropical low as it runs along the jet stream from Taiwan over here towards Okinawa as we go ahead over through Thursday heading into Friday. I think Okinawa Thursday night really going to be the worst of it there, but definitely that combination of this tropical wave and that extra tropical supported by a jet stream low is going to have an impact here. And let's look ahead. This is Wednesday through Thursday heading into Friday. You can kind of see that energy pulling off here. Here comes that system moving across Taiwan. Plenty of rainfall from Taipei all the way to southern areas of the island. First from the west towards the east, but then let's look ahead. This is by, by the time we go into Wednesday. Here comes our system right there. And this is by Thursday into Friday. That low tracks just south of Okinawa putting you on the uh, max of those winds. Actually, a little closer view here, Thursday into Friday. Here's that low center right there. And look at the winds wrapping around the northern periphery of here, even east coast of Taiwan getting impacted. I do want to look a little bit closer here, though, um, as we go ahead into Thursday night for Okinawa. You can see those winds cruising in from the east, gusts as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's going to be hot possible here Thursday overnight into Friday morning. So for my military friends here, I, I can't stress it enough. I know it's not a typhoon, but that's tropical storm strength conditions. I mean, this is a uh, damaging winds, a moderate chance here. Over 50 miles per hour, by the way, is what the National Weather Service in the United States considers damaging or severe weather. And I think we're going to see gusts uh, possibly that high, especially along the eastern seaboard. Now, if this tracks slightly further towards the south, those winds will be backed off. But based on the last few model runs over the last few days, pretty consistent on that tight pressure gradient with this low tracking just towards the south and that support from that low coming in from the west, really just creating all sorts of messy conditions. This is another look actually via the GFS. That was the ECMWF. A little bit of a closer look with our area of low pressure and those winds gusting at this specific time here on Thursday night. You can see particular model showing Naha up to about 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts and likely going to be seeing things a little bit higher further towards the north and east. So places like Kadena, you could be seeing those winds as well. So this is definitely going to be a rough time. If you have things like trampolines, tie those down. You don't want to be that person. And we all know that person. You don't want to be that one, right? All right, so here's a look at that forecast for Okinawa. Tuesday's not all too bad, by the way. Uh, but as we go ahead over towards a Wednesday, we do have that rainfall really starting to kick in by Wednesday night. Thursday's going to be an all-around mess, but it's Thursday night into Friday morning when I think the worst of the weather is going to be as that system passes by just south of you. So the main points, heavy rainfall does continue for my friends out here in the Philippines. Taiwan, Okinawa, though, that extra tropical system is going to be scooting on by with uh, those winds, which I think are going to be surprising people. Because whenever we get a tropical storm, whenever we get a typhoon, you know, that makes all the headlines. And of course, we go through the core systems, especially for the military there. Uh, but these, this guy right here, 
if you don't know about it, you don't know about it. It's just, it's gonna, I think it'll catch a few people off guard. So uh, if you see this video, you find it useful, and you wanna tell a friend or two, I'm not saying go ahead and share it around, but you know, if you wanna help out a friend, just let them know it's gonna get windy. You share the video, maybe it might be a little bit used for them. All right, so thank you everybody else who's been helping me out on Patreon. If you wanna help me out here, that'd be fantastic. These graphics are not free. Um, but most of this is out of my pocket and I do a lot of this as a hobby but you know if you guys want to help me out here that would be absolutely fantastic so thank you very much who has been helping me out on Patreon also follow me on all these social media platforms for some more information and of course uh, number one thing is stay safe out there oh one more thing if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I truly truly appreciate it we are not in typhoon season yet when typhoon season comes around I do have daily updates on typhoons as well thanks for watching and stay safe out there.